Welcome to the Signal RGB Components tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a deeper look at components in Signal RGB, including how and when to configure components, and how to create a custom component if yours doesn't have one in Signal RGB yet. I'm also going to go step by step and show you how we configured every device on the PC we use for our videos. Before watching this tutorial, it's recommended that you watch the Signal RGB Quick Start Guide first. Components is a system that Signal RGB uses to manage RGB devices that connect to lighting controllers or motherboard headers. Examples of components are things like RGB fans, RGB strips, case lighting, RGB water blocks, RGB pumps, and the list goes on. The component system allows you to mix which devices are connected to any lighting controller and still achieve clean lighting effects. Unconfigured lighting controllers or motherboard headers will have a yellow warning. These are devices that require you to select which components are connected to which channels. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have something physically connected to these devices. Signal RGB is simply telling you that these are devices that typically have components connected to them that you would need to configure. For example, you could have the yellow warning on your motherboard, but if you don't have anything physically connected to the RGB headers, then you can ignore the warning. Usually, you should know what's connected to your system and where if you built your own computer. If you didn't build your own computer, or you don't know or remember where things are connected, then that's okay. There's an easy way to find out and still configure everything. Let's get started with this Thermaltake controller. This particular controller has five channels. I know that I've connected four fans to this controller, but I don't know which channels each fan is on. You can look over at your PC and see exactly which fan is connected to each channel based on the color it's pulsing. Channel one is pulsing red, channel three is pulsing green, channel four is pulsing yellow, and channel five is pulsing white. In this particular situation, all four of the fans are exactly the same ring quad fan. So I can select the ring quad fan component on channels one, three, four, and five. This controller is now configured completely and I know that because there are no other devices in the PC that are pulsing a particular color. Now there are other devices that are pulsing a light blue, and that's just to let you know that those are devices that need to be configured on a different controller or motherboard header. This next part is a great demonstration of how the component system allows you to connect just about any device anywhere. Instead of connecting them to their default controller, I've connected the three Lian Lee fans to a motherboard header using a special adapter cable. This was done to bypass the limited frame rate you'd get on the default Lian Lee fan controller. I can add three Lian Li fan components onto this single motherboard header, and now the three Lian Li fans will be independently addressable instead of being treated as one giant strip. Now I'm going to show you how to create a custom strip component. The case strip at the front of this Lian Li case is connected to a Corsair Node Pro controller, also using a special adapter cable. This particular case strip doesn't have a predefined component in Signal RGB. In these situations, you'll want to create a custom strip. I know this strip is connected to channel 2 because it's pulsing blue, which is the color for channel 2. You can make a custom strip by going over to where it says create a custom strip. For this part, I'll take a guess at how many LEDs are in this case strip. I'll start with 30 and press create. Now you can see that in channel 2, it's showing I have a custom strip with 30 LEDs. To learn exactly how many LEDs are in this strip, hover over the custom strip and click this button. Now on this page, click on lighting. Now you can activate the brush tool by clicking here and then start painting the LEDs one by one. You can also click and drag to paint faster. Do this until the entire device is painted. In this situation, the entire strip is fully painted at 28 LEDs, which means I created a custom strip that was two LEDs more than it needs to be. All I need to do is go back and delete the custom strip and recreate it with 28 LEDs. And that's how you can quickly create a custom component whenever Signal RGB doesn't have a predefined component for your device. There is also an advanced way to create a custom component that gives you more control but requires a little bit of coding. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Finally, I'll go ahead and configure the last controller which is the Corsair Commander Core. This particular controller only has one channel which is pulsing red. And in the PC, the only devices pulsing red are the three Corsair QL fans. So for this controller, I just have to add three QL fan components. This concludes everything you need to know about components in Signal RGB. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe for more helpful videos.